All right, so straight into the first tip. As you know, the machine will grind beans, compress it into a puck, and then water will pass through. We want to ensure that that water is as hot as we can get it. So on this machine, I'm going to hold down the single shot button with the power off, but still plugged into the wall. And it's going to bring up these lights. I'm going to press it again and again until I get this exclamation mark. So these are four increments of heat setting. This is obviously the hottest one and the one I want to save it on. So to do so, I'm going to press the single long black button once. So that's just now saved the program and now the machine will output the hottest water that it can. So I'm going to turn on the machine and we'll move on to the next tip. Okay, so I've got the machine on and I'm just about to move on to the next step. But I thought I'd say just in case anyone hasn't realized that this dial here gives you the control to determine how much coffee beans you grind up into each puck. So obviously having that on the maximum is going to deliver a stronger coffee. Okay, and up the top, underneath the lid where we put the coffee beans, we're going to find a dial that allows us to adjust the grind coarseness. So I want to turn this dial all the way to number one by turning it anti-clockwise. As it says in the user manual, you shouldn't turn this while the coffee mill isn't in operation. And you can feel the resistance there. It doesn't want to move, so I'll just put a cup underneath and then turn it while I'm pulling a shot. Okay, so we've made some basic changes. We've got the max setting, we've got the highest heat, and we've got the finest grind setting. This is the result so far. Just bear in mind that before you can fully taste what the changes have achieved, you just have to pull a shot or two through. I've already done a couple while changing camera angles, so this is ready to try. That is actually a really quite a strong espresso already at this point and you may be happy just to stop there so uh, give it a go and see what you think. There is a lot of volume here by default on this machine and I want to see if I can get it more closely resembling um, a shot from say a cafe machine where you've got a thick high viscosity. Um, I want a little less volume in here. Uh, particularly for pouring latte art in a smaller cup, you want to get the coffee to milk ratio right. You don't want a watery shot already accommodating half of the cup because it just won't work. So I'm going to take this a step further and um, reprogram the machine a bit more. Okay, so before you proceed to reprogram the machine, it is important that you have primed the machine in the sense that you've pulled a few shots through um, after making any setting changes to ensure that you've got a consistent steady flow with the new settings so that we can make some accurate measurements hopefully as close as we can get down to the millimeter so from what i can gather unless there's some other magic going on behind the scenes each of these four buttons all work with the same amount of coffee though they all just deliver a different amount of water through the programming so by default this machine is actually set to 40 mil 80 120 and 240 but a standard shot is actually more around 30 mil. So first of all, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to reprogram one of these buttons, this one here, say to 30 mil. And then I'm actually going to do another one at 15 mil. So I'm going to create uh, what's known as a ristretto, but this is going to be kind of like a rushed version. Obviously it's not going to be quite the same as you'd get with a cafe machine, but it's worth a shot. So I'm just aiming to capture like the most strongest potent part of it. And then I'm going to cut it short. So then when I put two of them into a glass, uh, so to form 30 mil, it'll be like a double ristretto. So it should be pretty potent. Um, so I'm going to have that as option one. And then I'll just do a full 30 mil shot as that one. And we'll see which one tastes stronger and whether it's worth using twice the amount of coffee for the double. Okay, so to reprogram, it's pretty simple and it's not like an irreversible hack, it's all in the user manual so you can set it back to default if you don't like the new settings. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do this one first, it's pretty simple. I'm just going to hold the button. Just going to keep it held 
until this light starts flashing. So now I can let go. Basically what I'm gonna do is just press the button again once, once it reaches the measurement where I want it to stop. It's a bit of a delay, so I've got to account for that. Press it a little bit early. So there we go. That's around about 30 mil, including the crema. And see how that is. Wow, okay, that's definitely stronger than the last one I did. So even already at that point, I'd be more than happy to put that into a latte. But let's just take it a step further and see what we can achieve. Okay, so the clean glass in. And I know I had to shout over it last time, but basically what you do is you hold down whichever button it is that you want to reprogram. You hold it, um, the coffee will start grinding and it will begin to draw. You just hold it until this light here, the green one, or if it's on this side, then it'll be this one until it begins to flash, you can then let go and then it's just a matter of pressing it once again when you want to stop the flow. If you overshoot it, don't worry, because say if you're aiming for like 20 mil for whatever reason and you, it goes to 25, by the time that the program is seated in and you press the button, you may find that it does actually just reach 20. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this 15 mil shot now. Okay, so there we go. It looks like we're around about we're around about 20, I'd say, in between the liquid and the crema. But what I'm going to do is actually just put that in another glass, and then we'll just see what what I said. Just clean that out a bit. It should just deliver about 15 mil. Um, but the measurement will show in about 20 after that, so we'll see where it actually ends up. Okay, so the new program. So yeah, I'd say that has actually stopped um, closer to the 15 mil mark if you disregard the crema. And I know this isn't gonna satisfy the coffee connoisseurs because it's such a quick extraction. You'll at least taste it over your coffee, that's for sure. Over your, <laughs> over your milk, sorry. All right. Okay. So, just gonna give that a little stir that it's kind of equally combined. So this is the double 15. <clears throat> wow. And this is the 30. This one, this one has a better flavor that's for sure but i have to say that the um the double is is stronger so i guess it depends what you're after like if you are really just wanting it as strong as you can get then give this one a go you are going to use twice the amount of coffee um there isn't much difference in it but there definitely is a difference that one definitely tastes less pleasant because of kind of like how strong it is and it's not the full the full flavor profile. Neither is this one really uh, compared to a cafe machine, but yeah, I can definitely taste um, more flavor in it. 
Okay, so I guess the real test now is how do these new shots taste in a latte? So I'm gonna steam some milk and find out. I do actually have a full tutorial on how to steam milk with this machine on my channel if you're interested. So that resource is there if you need it. So I'm trying the 30 mil shot first. This uh, second one, I'm going to go first, but run that down inside the cup. Keep me breathing. Okay, that's looking really good. Let's see how we go. It already looks um, like a nice dark colour, so I can already tell it's going to taste pretty good. That is a really good tasting coffee. There's nothing wrong with that, so I'm happy with that as it is. But to continue with the the experiment, let's do a um, let's try one with a double ristretto shot. Okay, so I'm obviously just gonna have to pull two, two of these shots to make up a 30 mil shot. It really is a stupidly quick extraction, but. Yeah, I'm not sure to be honest. Um, I think the extraction is a bit too rushed. It, it does taste strong, but I think I actually prefer just the solid, the 30. There's not much in it. It's hard to tell because this one's actually cool down a little bit now but I don't know if it's really worth using twice the amount of beans but it was worth experimenting on this machine you just got to be a bit creative with the functionality that we have to try and replicate a decent shot but when I tried them in the um, by themselves like you could definitely taste uh, that the, the double ristretto was um, quite potent but once it's amongst the milk I think you're actually better off with more of the flavour profile of the, of the longer extraction. So yeah, let me know how you go and thanks for watching. See you later.